We are giving away free silver coins every single Sunday on the live stream. There's absolutely no catch. All you have to do is come to the live streams. So make sure you press the bell. It will notify you guys when I'm live streaming. That way you guys can join and have a chance of winning some free silver coins. Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we are looking at some Jefferson nickels that are worth money. We'll look at some different errors that you can look for on your coins that can give them some value. And of course, we'll look at some other extreme types of errors that take place on these nickels as well. So let's just hop right into it and start off first here with a 1972 D Mint Mark Jefferson nickel. Now this coin has a partial obverse counter brockage. Look at that, graded by NGC. Man, here on the reverse looks pretty normal, but here on the front of the coin is where that brockage is taking place. Absolutely amazing, I love these types of mint errors. This coin sold for over $500. So when you're going to the bank, searching through coin rolls, always be on the lookout for stuff like this. Now here's a 1972 D mint mark that has a die break. Now we'll see that there at the top of the coin. Now this is also known as a cud. So if you find them, definitely hold on to them. Some of them are going to be, you know, not so valuable. Some of them can be very valuable depending on the condition of the coin and some other factors as well, such as how large is the cud, where is the cud on the coin, what coin is the cud on, things like that will always uh, play a role in its value. Now, in this case, we have that large cud on top of the coin. Wow, just amazing. Absolutely love cuds. I found them before from the bank. So if you guys can get coins from the bank right now, Definitely, you know, I always recommend searching nickels. Nickels are really fun. You can look for 35% silver nickels as well. Now this coin here sold for around $80. So not too bad, but it does have a high grade of a mint state 66 with five full steps. So if you guys are not familiar with full steps, Here's an example of that. You cannot have any nicks or scratches or anything interrupting those five full steps. They have to be clear five full steps to be counted as full steps. How many times have I said full steps? All right, now here is a 1972 D mint mark. Same thing here. We got that high grade mint state 66. All of its value is from that grade. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This is at a 66. So that's where the value comes in at. Doesn't have any mint errors or anything. This coin sold for over $345. Now here is a proof coin from 1972. It is the S mint mark, of course, and it has been double struck. It's graded by Annex at a proof 67. And this Jefferson nickel here sold for over $4,000. That is absolutely amazing. Could you imagine having that $4,000? Gosh, I would want to keep it because it's so cool, but at the same time, four grand, I think I might have to sell it. Here is another double strike, but this is actually on the regular business strike nickel. So it's on the D mint mark, not the S proof coin, the S mint mark. So this is going to be the regular nickel 1972 D like you would find, uh, you know, in your everyday pocket change. However, this one has been double struck and that second strike is 70% off center. So we can see that they're very clearly in the images displayed. This coin sold for over $200. Now, same thing for the 1972 no mint mark. All of its value here is in the mint state 66 grade. So keep in mind, if you have these coins in rough shape, that doesn't have any types of errors, it's not gonna be valuable. In this case, it's gonna be valuable because it's got that very high grade by PCGS. Now this coin sold for over $290. Here is a coin that was struck off center, so you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins, not just Jefferson Nichols. This coin here sold for around 25 bucks, so, you know, not really worth having graded unless you just want to keep it, you know, in your collection in a nice coin slab holder. Uh, so, 25 bucks for that coin. Now, here is a very cool coin. It is a 1972 D mint mark that was actually struck on a dime. So a 10 cent blank planchet. So not the actual Roosevelt dime design is going to be on here because it was a blank planchet. The coin only weighs 2.2 grams. Now, this is the D mint mark. It's graded by NGC at an AU 58. And this coin sold for over $370. Of course, we see the design being cut off 
and all that stuff because the Jefferson Nickel design was struck on a Roosevelt dying planchet. Now this coin here looks like damage. Most people might think it's damage. However, this Jefferson Nickel design from 1972 was struck on a one cent planchet. So we looked at the coin being struck on a dime. This one is struck on a one cent planchet, a penny planchet. And this coin sold for over $250. All right, so we looked at a dime, we looked at a penny planchet. Then in this case, this Jefferson Nickel design was actually struck on a Philippine coin planchet. It only weighs two grams. Uh, nickels are typically around five grams. So, wow, look at that. That is pretty cool. Always be on the lookout for things like this. Uh, you never know, you know, you just never know. Some people may think this is just damage or someone intentionally done it. However, it's actually a mint error. This coin here sold for over $1,400. Turning a nickel to over $1,000, I'll take that any day of the week. Now here is a 1972S. Back to the proof coin. This is the proof coin graded at a proof 69 deep cameo. That's where all the value comes in at, graded by PCGS. This coin sold for around $195. Next up, we have a uniface obverse on this coin. So we see the design of the Jefferson nickel here, but here on the other side of the coin, we do not have that reverse design. Now this is the proof coin, by the way, it's the S mint mark. It's graded by PCGS at a proof 65, and this coin sold for over $1,100. So another nickel worth over $1,000. Now this one's pretty cool and you know maybe difficult to actually find or know about unless you actually you know know about these types of coins, their weights and all that stuff. If you see something that looks off, you probably want to weigh it. In this case, this 1972 D mint mark was actually struck on a Liberia 5 cent coin, Planchet. So it only weighs 4.2 grams as a result of that. We looked at it on a Philippine coin. This case a Liberia coin planchet. This nickel sold for over $160. Now let's check out some other Jefferson nickels that are worth money. First, you would notice that on the back of these coins on the 1944, the mint mark is going to be above the building below E Pluribus Unum, and it's going to be a large mint mark, either a P, D, or S. So there is a D mint mark. This is an RPM, so that is a repunched mint mark. So that is taking place on the 1944 Jefferson nickel. There's a couple examples of those. And if we look at this coin here, this is that coin that has that repunched mint mark. Now the coin did sell for over $300. However, what is going to give it a lot of value is its grade. It's graded by PCGS, which is the coin grading company if you guys are new to coin collecting. And it is graded at a mint state 66. So it's got a very high grade, which means it's in very good condition. So this coin, like I said, $300. But if we move on to a more expensive 1944 nickel, this is the D mint mark again. Now this does not have any type of errors on it. However, it's graded at a mint state 68. So that is what gives it a lot. I mean, a lot of value. This coin here sold for over $10,000 dollars because of its high grade now this is a 1944 that has been struck off center really you could look for off center errors on all different type of coinage but this coin did sell for over 380 us dollars so pretty cool it's an off center coin i like it but let's move on to the p mint mark now the p mint mark you can also look for a repunched mint mark you can really see it there at the top left of the p where that p mint mark has been repunched now also on the s mint mark you want to look for a repunched mint mark on there you can really see on the top right where that s mint mark is being repunched uh, on that mint mark now for the 1944 p mint mark that is the high graded version of the coin this coin sold for over nine thousand dollars now again, it does have some awesome looking natural toning to it, but it is the grade of a mint state 67 that's going to give the coin its value. Now this is a 1944S, again that's graded at a mint state 67, and that's why the coin sold for over $14,000. 14,000 buckaroos! 
All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.